Welcome guys, welcome back to my channel once again. Uh, today we're back with another video. Today it's a little bit different. Uh, now, what I did lately, what I've been doing is that uh, the past few days, um, I don't know if you guys are aware, but Scream 5 came out. And I would just want to give my thoughts on the movie, you know. Uh, I never did this, this sort of video, but uh, yeah, everybody's doing them. And I have my own things to say about the movie, and uh, I just watched it twice um uh, and yeah i don't know want to talk about it uh first of all hi guys how you uh, how y'all doing uh i hope you have a great day um so scream five yeah um now i like the movie i really did um it was a great movie um basically i, I mean i could do a review if you want uh basically what happened was the movie started in a very interesting way where the main character or the sister of the main character if you want whoever you consider the main character uh, basically gets attacked but by Ghostface and she I mean she gets too dude she gets fucked like it was a very, very epic scene. I mean, it was slightly spoiled in the trailers, but it was very suspenseful and very intense. And there was a lot of, you know, there was just, there was a lot of just pressure, if you will. It, it was a great scene. I really enjoyed it. Uh, now, this year's uh, new cast, uh, they were very interesting. Very interesting cast. I, you know what? Now I'm on my computer. Let me go see just the names because I remember the faces, but the names, you know. Oh, here we go. So we have Tara Carpenter, uh, Tara, whatever you want to call it. She's the main character for now. Uh, she's the one that gets, you know, uh, brutally, you know, uh, during the the opening sequence. She's a pretty good character. Uh, she was she was actually very good. Now her sister Sam. She was meh to me. She was a good character, but meh. Uh, um, I like the whole, she's the daughter of the serial killer and the whole nature versus nurture uh, aspect to it. Um, now, this is a spoiler review, by the way. I don't know if I said that. I don't think I did. Spoilers uh, for anybody who's watching this. Spoilers, man. Okay. If you don't want spoilers, leave. Uh, and here's the spoiler. She, you know, she, her boyfriend, um, played by uh, Jack Quaid. I didn't see that coming. I didn't. Everybody, you know, I've watched other reviews, other people. They're saying, oh, I saw that coming a mile away. I didn't. Okay, I didn't. I, you know, I thought it was going to be the, the pasty chick, uh, Amber. You know, the, the white dude. She was creepy as hell. And she it was a little bit, like, too on the nose. Like, oh, what would you do if I was the killer? Like, uh. Okay, whatever. Um, but, yeah, I didn't see the guy coming. I thought it was going to be somebody else. Uh, uh, yeah, Sam Carpenter, uh, she was meh to me. She was like, eh. I mean, she's a good character. She was interesting, but meh. Uh, Dwight, dude. Dude. Dude, I mean, Dwight, man. What the hell, dude. The guy... Uh, I mean, at least he went out, uh, spoilers, he did get, get killed, in a very epic way, by the way, which, the only thing I have like, an issue with is the whole, oh, you have to shoot him in the head, okay, why? The, you shot him in the chest twice, what, what did it be? The, oh, maybe they have body armor? Like, okay. Uh, you know, I get it, it's the whole lore of the movies, and you have to shoot him in the head, otherwise they come back. I get that, but... Uh, and then he comes back in the uh, he, they were in the hospital. He comes back, and the, uh, and the, the the phone rings and it's Gail, which is like, oh, and uh, yeah, he gets got. Which, dude, well, the, 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 his death scene was epic, epic. Come on, man. I mean, at least he went out like a like a badass. Um, who else? I'm watching the characters. I love that. Uh, Sydney Campbell. Sydney. 
She wasn't that much in the movie, actually. At all. She was, you know, she, she had a few very, very nice lines. You know, the whole, of course, I'm, you know, I have a gun and all that. Um, but overall, she wasn't that much into the movie. And I, I believe, maybe I'm wrong here, but I believe they're sort of slowly but surely weaning us out out of, of the legacy characters. You know, Dwight, the Dewey died. Uh, and so there are only two left now, uh, Gail and uh, Sydney. And I had this idea, tell me what you think uh, uh, about this, but I had the idea that imagine if in the next movie, uh, in Scream 6, they, uh, they, the, the opening scene, uh, as in Scream 1, by the way, you know, Scream 1 was a very portrayed where, um, what was the chick's name? Scream 1, uh, a very famous character, the, the blonde girl, forgot her name, very, very famous character, a very uh, actress, and uh, she, she was killed right in the beginning, the opening scene. Nobody expected that because she was a main character, a uh, main, uh, main actress. And uh, that's what they could do in Scream 6, where they kill Sydney in like the opening. That would be... Uh, but yeah, she wasn't that much in the movie. She wasn't, uh, you know, she was, you know, she was there. It was, it was fun seeing her again, I guess. But she wasn't that, uh, that much into the movie. Um, who else? Who else? Wes. Wes, 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 and his mother. Dude. Dude, the way she died, man, that's... That was the only scene, I believe, where I was, like, truly scared. You know, not so much scared, but, like, taken aback, if you will. Because all the others, all the other kills, I was, like, you know, watching, you know, pretty relaxed. I wasn't that scared or even thinking about it. It was just more, eh, it happened. But that one, that one, that happened with... Uh, with Wes, that was brutal. Um, uh, with Wes's mom, so sorry. And dude, the way she died out of nowhere, that uh, was who, who, who. Uh, and then the way he died as well. You know, people gotta go, man. People gotta go. You know, movie uh, has to go on. Um, I'm sorry, I'm all, I'm all over the place. I'm basically like spoiling the movie and like giving a rating of the characters. <laughs> Tell me if you want, if you like this. Now we're going uh, a little bit back here. Uh, Deputy Judy, great character. Um, now the twins, the twins. Uh, Chad, which, what a Chad name. Oh, uh, Chad, uh, Chad's character was pretty good. I liked it. Pretty good, uh, pretty good character, pretty good actor. But he wasn't that, he, the writing, the way he was written wasn't that it was good, but it wasn't like, oh my god, who's this kid? His sister killed it. Killed it. Mil Mil his sister, Mindy, she stole the show, in my opinion. She stole, like, she was interesting and fun in every single scene. Uh, you know, there's certain characters that just steal a movie, or steal every single scene they're in, and I want to see more of her as the, as the movie progressed. That was her. That was her, man. Uh, by the way, just caveat. How the hell did he survive? Like, dude. The guy gets stabbed, I don't know how many times, falls in the grass, every, nobody sees him, you know. There's a car that passes just in front of him. Nobody's like, oh my god, he's in, laying in the grass. No. The guy lies in the grass for, I don't know, 20 minutes? Survives. Come on. That's the only, like, really? Like, really? You're gonna survive that? Um, uh, his sister killed Mindy. Her, she was really the the new, you know, uh, what was her name? Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh, dude, fans of the movies were, uh, of, of Scream are going to kill me here. What was her name? Uh, la, 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 la. She's the new Randy. Oh my God, don't, don't, don't kill me in the comments. Don't care. I forget his name for a minute. Relax, okay? She's the new Randy. She's literally his niece. Awesome. She was, she was really well played. I really did. Um, now, when it comes to uh, Sam Carpenter's uh, basically ghost dad, uh, Billy, I liked it. Ish. I liked it. Ish. Okay. It was like, eh, it happened. Uh, it came out of nowhere, though. Like out of nowhere, she's like, now what? She's. It's basically like Dexter. The dark passenger follows you around. Uh, maybe they were inspired from Dexter in that regard. I don't know. 
but you know overall come on man um it was it was okay uh you know people hate it some people like it i'm like eh uh who else is left who else is left amber i didn't speak about her i think amber what can i say what can i say she was really she was one of those characters that number one she was way too obvious as the killer like like way too obvious number two I didn't, it was very meh to me, the character, line, not the actress, the actress was fine, I guess, uh, I really think about it, I have to watch it another time to really, like, now, really pay attention to all the actresses, the way they play, the, the character, the way it's written, because, you know, when you watch it the first time, you're like, oh, uh, but yeah, it was fine, but I really liked the scene in the basement, that scene was, you know, really good, um, I really liked that one, um, but overall, man, overall, uh, her, her, the way she died, <laughs> that was good, I really liked the way she died, uh, well, who was this, uh, who, who's left, who's left, uh, Rich, Richie, uh, Jack Quaid's character, uh, the other killer, he was, he came out of nowhere, you know, he was, I didn't expect it, some people did, I didn't. I didn't. I was like, what the hell? And he was suspected right from the bat. I was like, yeah, that's a red herring, right? That's a red herring? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I liked his character. He was really, like, he came out of nowhere. Um, let's see, am I missing any characters? Uh, I don't think so. I think... Oh yeah, live, live, live. The girl with the... With the, you know, the color hair. Dude, that's sad. Uh, I, don't, I forgot about her. Sorry, girl. I don't know. Uh, she was... Our, the, the scene was one funny scene. When uh, her and her boyfriend, Chad, were on the couch making out. And she's like, want to go upstairs, you know, have fun. And the guy's like, oh, I don't know if you're the killer. That killed me. I started laughing out loud. That was hilarious. That was really funny. Like, girl, you know, I'm horny, but I'm not that horny. That was good. I liked it. I, you know what? I liked it because it, it sort of subverts expectations. Because there are a lot of you know, horror movies where, you know, there's like one sex scene and the characters always pay a price for it. They start having sex and like a knife comes out of nowhere and kills them all. This one, the guy's like, you know what? I know my horror movies. Okay. I don't know if you're the killer, if I'm going to get caught. Some, yeah. Uh, I like that. She was more of a male character to me, uh, along the lines of Amber. She was like, yeah, she's there. Uh, who else is left, man? Who else is left? Uh, did I talk about every everything? Let me think. Let me think. Uh, yeah, I think I did. Uh, tell me, guys, in the comments if I missed anything. How oh, I talked about everything. Pretty sure I did. Um, yeah, overall, the movie... Oh yeah, the legacy characters, uh, K uh, Gail and, uh, and Sydney. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Dewey is number one, if I have to rank them. Sydney number two, or those who are alive. And Gail number three. I don't know, they were like, there. Dewey had the biggest part to play, because he literally, like, first of all, died, but he was really into, in the movie. Sydney, she was there, but she really wasn't. She was basically the sage who offered counsel, but he, she was like, you know, from far away. I mean, she get she got her hands dirty. I get that, but Gail, she got shot, which <laughs> that was that was funny. That was a funny scene <laughs> when um, Amber came out of the house like crying and like, "Come help me!" And uh, everybody's like, "Wait, is that a trap? It's a trap!" And then she, she shoots Gail. That was good. Um, all right, I like that. Oh yeah, Vince. Uh, I forgot his name. Vin Vince Schneider. Okay, he's deaf. Uh, I didn't know who he was for so uh, that much. I didn't watch the trailers. I watched one, I think, uh, or two, but I I wasn't like you know invested a hundred percent. His death was like. The problem is his. I saw his death in the trailer, so I wasn't like shocked or anything. And yeah, that's my review and spoiler review for a uh, movie, the a Scream movie. I liked it. 
Uh, if I have to rate it, it'll be pretty high up. I really enjoyed the movie. It wasn't like mind-blowingly, oh my god, I can't believe that they made this movie. But it was good. It was good. It wasn't bad, it was good. So, overall, like the movie, like the experience. Tell me guys in the comments uh, which is your favorite character. For me, Mindy. Mindy, number one. I really liked her. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm a sucker for comedy. Who knows? But actually, I'm a sucker for comedy, but she really was just, she was feeling it. I mean, she was really great. Good job. I really liked the way she was written and the actress played it very well. Um, uh, and yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. If I had to rank it out of 10, you know, 1 out of 10, uh, 10 out of 10, uh, I would put it maybe on an 8. 8 out of 10. I really did. I really liked it. So, guys, tell me in the comments favorite character, favorite movie. Uh, this is spontaneous. I don't know why I did that. I like doing it, but uh, yeah. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.